Hey everybody, Chavin Nobody Else's Auto back here with our great friend Doug Pray at the Auburn Court Duesenberg Company in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Doug, you've shared a ton of knowledge and a ton of cool stuff with us over the last several years. We've shown people about cords, we've talked to people about cords, we've taught people about cords, we've talked to them about the transmissions, the front wheel drives, the amazing Gordon Burek design. One thing we've never been able to show them, we've showed them transmissions on the stand, we've showed them working, but we've never actually had a car in here with the whole front end off where we can see the actual layout. Yeah. which is really cool about this particular car that you're working on right now. Well, we, we can see it. Yeah, well, this car is a customer's car. This is really an amazing story. A gentleman named Brad Waken lives right here in Oklahoma, who's been a longtime member of the club. Um, he, this car was actually in the factory back in the 60s. It actually came from here. wasn't this color or anything. And it's been in his family ever since. So they restored this car to uh, a, a very high quality, but it's an older restoration. It was done, you know, probably a little over 20 years ago. But what is unique about this car is it's a supercharged car and it's a cabriolet. A cabriolet is a convertible with just one front seat. It doesn't have the back seat like the Phaeton does. Supercharged cabriolets of the close to 3,000 cords built there was about 50 of these. <laughs> so this is very, very rare. This is probably the most desirable of all the cords. A supercharged cabriolet is what everybody wants. Uh, so these, the price really jumps when you get a, a cabriolet. But, but Brad owning this car, not exaggerating, since it's been restored, he personally has driven this over 105,000 miles. Oh, wow. So 1937 technology, and he's driven it to California and back. He said he went on a road trip for three weeks, drove 5,500 miles, and the only trouble he had was his speedometer working correctly, of which that's one of the reasons it's here, is because <laughs> we had to redo the speedometer for him. But it's just getting some, some service work. The uh, head, it had a blown head gasket, and so we put new head gaskets on it. Uh, and just make sure because he does drive it and use it and he he drives it 70 80 miles an hour and he drives it uh, he lives out of town he lives about three hours from here well he doesn't trailer it here he drives it here so he uses this car and there's probably not too many people can say I've driven a cord in the last few years 105,000 miles I get a lot of our customers how many miles did you put on it this year uh, 200 you know well, he's put 105,000 and I think he's put 150,000 since it was built, but him personally, about 105,000. So we're, we're redoing his front fenders. That's why the front fenders are off. Somebody had dinged them and they needed a little bit of work. Um, and we'll just do, go around, do a little bit of a touch up on the car. And then it will be at Auburn at the same Labor Day weekend reunion. Um, we're in Oklahoma, Auburn, Indiana is probably 13 hour drive uh, at 70 miles an hour and he'll probably just drive this you know <laughs> he'll just get in it and go and he'll drive it in the parade and just have fun and he just absolutely i've never seen a person enjoy a car and brad is a historian of course he's been in the club forever in fact we we always kid him because the auburn court duesenberg club names a man of the year every year and he was named man of the year one year so, um, the, and so we always kid him about when he comes in, the man of the year just, just walked <laughs> in the door. But Brad's a good friend, a great guy, knows cords frontwards and backwards. And, uh, and he said it's okay for us to video it and, um, and show it on social media. But that's what it looks like. You can see the, um, remember I've talked in the past, it's unibody construction. So the front stub frame actually bolts on to the front of the body. So the way the cars were built, the whole body can be built, stub frame can be unbolted and the whole front end of the car can come off. So you can build the whole front end of the car and then roll it back and bolt it to the unibody uh, frame that's built into it. Which and in today's world is like most cars. Yeah. But they did this in 1936 this, this, and this was, As far as I know, this was the first that yeah. was ever done. And so you can see the four-speed transmission is way out here. Well, how do you shift a four-speed transmission? And you've got a video on that, but it's done with vacuum. So you've got a vacuum that goes this way, and you've got a vacuum that goes this way, and you pre-select the gear you want, and all these electronics and vacuum make it shift for you. 
And when we stand here, we can actually look at how literally it is a flathead V8 and transmission sitting backwards. Right. And then you I can mean, you can see because of the, the front wheel drive, the transaxles that come out of the U-joints that come out of the, the transmission. Um, it, it's just all of incredible modern design that was done in 1936 and 37. And we're constantly amazed when we work on these cars, it's like, who in the world engineered this? That's almost 90 years yeah, ago. 90 is not And the complexity, and the average person can't work on one of these because they are so complex, but we know them frontwards and backwards. But if a cord doesn't shift, if you're in a regular four speed, there's just something wrong and it won't shift. Yeah. There could be 150 different things that could happen to keep the robot from shifting this. From the dash to from, here, from that the dash six to feet here, or to, whatever. To make it all work. And so we have people, they said, we're sending us our cord because we can't get it into reverse or it won't go into neutral or it won't shift. Well, we know them and when they're right, they're right. And, and this is a testimony that he's driven at 105,000 yeah. miles. But for anybody who's thinking about owning a cord, they're an extremely high tech car for the time. They're extremely fun. And when you get them right and dialed in, you can drive them. You can, this car drives like a modern car. If you put it on the road, it's quiet. You can cruise at 70, 80 miles an hour. You think you're in a modern car. I mean, they drive one thing. They're front wheel drive. They didn't have power steering in, but they steer real easy because they're front wheel drive. And so a, a cord is either wrong or it's right. And if it's wrong, you don't like them. But when you've got them right, it is an absolute pleasure to drive a cord. And I grew up in a cord. I grew up in a supercharged 37 Phaeton, and that was our family car. So when I was a kid, this is what our family car was. Never ever trailered in its entire life. If a show was in California, it was driven to California with the kids in the back seat. Um, and that's before interstates too. So they were really, really high quality, fast car, and, and they still are. And it's 90 year old technology. It's 90 years old and 90, and one of the most beautiful designs in, in the entire world. So you get it all, you get the technology, you get the design, you get the experience, you get the connection with the famous people like Gordon Burek who designed it. Uh, so this is just, I call it a work of art and they call it what a rolling sculpture. Uh, and, and here it is and this is one that's just being serviced a little bit and it'll be back on the road and it'll probably get another 100,000. Literally, literally in here for maintenance. Yeah. Some basic touch up and maintenance so we can get back out right. on the highway. Right. <laughs> yep, that's it. Well, it's amazing. As always, Doug, thanks for sharing it with us and being able to actually see that configuration in the car really kind of puts it into perspective as to what they did with these things 90 years ago. Yeah, yep. Supercharged cord cabriolet. 50 of them in the world, and this is one of them just sitting right here. Well, awesome. Thanks, Doug. As always, we appreciate it. Lots more cool stuff to check out. Let's go see what else we got. All right. Thanks.